Let's create some lip sync videos in Kling. We're logged into Kling. I'll click on AI videos over in the left hand menu. The first thing we need to do is generate a video because you need a video generated in Kling in order to convert it to a lip sync. I'm going to use image to video, but you could also use text to video for this. For the prompt for this video, I'm just going to say the excited boy looks at the camera. I'm going to leave the creativity right in the middle, leave it on professional mode five seconds and not change anything else. We'll hit generate. And let's talk about the prompt that I used to generate the video. I've used prompts before, like the woman speaks directly to the camera and those work out okay but what they do is they generate a video with no audio that just shows the person speaking only there's no sound then when you go to create the lip sync i think sometimes it struggles to match up those existing mouth movements from the video you created with its new lip sync deal sometimes it does okay sometimes not so much I'm finding it better to have the character not be talking in this video we generate, just have them looking at the camera. They can look around, they can have some subtle movement. You generally want their face to be nice and big and in the frame, but it's okay if they end up looking to one side or the other. Here's a lip sync that I created earlier and the video prompt for this one, I said the woman looks away while speaking. Oh, sounds like Tammy's at it again. I guess we got, oh, sounds like Tammy's at it again. I guess we got. Guess I'm not gonna be able to show you that one on the platform because the playback today has just been problematic. It is just all out of whack. But when I download the video, it downloads fine and it plays fine. I just can't preview it here. So here we go. Oh, sounds like Tammy's at it again. I guess we got some free entertainment today, huh? Now I did this one again, but I used a different prompt for the original video. This time I said the woman looks at the camera and pets the dog on her lap. I didn't say anything about her speaking or talking or anything like that. And here's how that turned out. Oh, sounds like Tammy's at it again. I guess we got some free entertainment today, huh? Now I've also seen folks use prompts like the man speaks angrily. And that's a way to get some emotion in the video before we apply the lip sync to it, which is pretty cool. But again, sometimes that idea of having them speak in this video in the first phase before we apply the lip sync doesn't always work out. But there are some things that you can do to get some emotion in your character and make it sort of match what you're about to have it say. In this case, instead of using a basic, the boy looks at the camera, I said the excited boy looks at the camera. I'm hoping that will give us some excited body language and maybe facial expressions that'll go along with what our script is about to be for him. You could use words in your prompt like excited or aggravated, nervous, relaxed to describe your character. You can also describe what your character's doing or what setting they're in, like presenting or listening for conversational type videos. Or take it a step further and describe who your character is, like teacher, presenter, attorney, bartender. Those things might help the AI get a feel for who this character is and what they're all about and how they might present themselves. Now, something you don't want to have happen is you don't want your character to turn around or walk away or turn completely sideways so that you can't see their face when they're talking. In my experience, if I don't specifically prompt for that kind of thing, usually if you have the image where it's their face front and center, it's not really doing that on its own. But if you have that problem, you could always specify in your prompt that you want them to stay remaining still, or you could use the negative prompt to say moving, standing, turning, anything you don't want them to do. Looks like our excited boy is generated here. So he is doing a little talking. I didn't ask for that. Now what we want to do is click the lip sync button underneath the video. It takes a few seconds while I was trying to identify if there's a face in the video that it can work with. Sometimes that takes longer than others. Now on the lip sync page, you have two choices, text to speech or upload local dubbing. You can let Kling do the text to speech for you by just providing it with a script. Or if you have your audio from elsewhere, you can click upload local dubbing and upload the file that you have. For this one, we'll give Kling a try. All right, we've got a little script in here, something for our kid to say. Now we need to pick a voice. We can adjust the speech rate and there are some different emotions here and they do have these grouped in different ways. Let's go take a look at boy, since we have a boy here. Let's go ahead and switch the emotion up to happy. Come on, let's go ride the roller coaster. It's gonna be so much fun. Come on, let's go ride the roller coaster. It's gonna be so much fun. All right, that could work. Let's try Ace. Nope, Ace does not wanna work, so Sage it is. It does show you your speech time up here, 4.6 seconds, which is perfect for our five second video. Now we'll just click on a lip sync, which will cost us five credits. Creating the video was 35 credits. Adding the lip sync now is just five credits. 
and it's saying my estimated wait time is going to be eight minutes. I'm finding that the wait time for generating videos and generating lip sync is varying widely these days. Sometimes it's four minutes for a five second video and sometimes it's more like 10 or 15 minutes. That's on a paid plan. On a free account, the range is much bigger. It can be anywhere from 10 minutes for a five second video up to three, four hours. While that's running, let's go ahead and do another one. So I just dragged in this image, a photo looking image of this gal. I use the prompt, the woman looks at the camera. I left everything else on its default settings and pretty simple. She's holding that smile for a while. And I'm not sure what this face is, but that's okay. Let's give it a shot. This time I'm gonna upload audio that I created in 11 labs. So after we click lip sync, it loads up and I'm gonna click on this upload local dubbing tab, drag in my audio. Oh, and it looks like my audio is longer than I thought. The video is five seconds long. The length of the video is here within this box. So we need to make our audio fit within that box as well. Now we can trim the audio here, basically move this box to the left if we wanna cut off the end of our audio or move this box to the right if we wanna cut off the beginning of our audio. Or if that doesn't land at a natural breaking point, we could fine tune the trim a little bit, but I don't really wanna do that because I don't think the audio would make any sense being trimmed like that. So I'm gonna jump over to a video editor outside of Kling. I'm gonna use CapCut and just work on this audio a little bit to get it down to under five seconds, but still make sense and sound natural. All right, now we can bring this shorter audio in and it's not telling us we have to crop anything. So we're in good shape there. We'll hit that lip sync button and let it get going. I'm so happy I finally get to say something. I've been stuck in this picture like forever. Lip syncing aside, I don't know what that background noise was. That was not present in my original audio. And here's how the lip sync turned out with our 3D kit. Come on, let's go ride the roller coaster. It's gonna be so much fun. You can't call that McDonald's cause I'm definitely not loving it. So I went ahead and generated another version of our 3D kid here where he's not talking or laughing or anything like that. And I attempted to run the lip sync on this video and I got a process fail that says lip sync failure. There lacks a consistently visible face or the face frequently leaves the screen. Please try with a different video. I went ahead and generated another base video for him with a prompt that says the excited boy is speaking to the camera. And yeah, that's the opposite of what I said a minute ago about now, it's generally been working better for me to start with a base video where their face is not talking or laughing or anything like that. I'm just wondering though, when it comes to these 3D cartoony non-photo type things, maybe it's having some trouble figuring out what an open mouth should look like. I don't know. So here's the base video that it created. We'll see if this works or not. Back over to lip sync. Let's see, it was boy. I'm pretty sure it was sage, one X and happy. Come on, let's ride the roller coaster. It's gonna be so much fun. All right, we'll hit lip sync and here's how that lip sync turned out. Come on, let's ride the roller coaster. It's gonna be so much fun. Aside from a little bit of melting there at the beginning, I think this lip sync turned out a lot better. And if we want to give this one more spin right under our lip sync video, we've got a redub button. We can click that. It's got all our settings and our text to speech loaded up in there. We'll hit lip sync and maybe we can get rid of the melting of the bottom of his face. Here's how our redub turned out. Come on, let's ride the roller coaster. It's going to be so much fun. I think that was worse than the last one. Looking back at the base video for this, you don't see the warping. You don't really recognize it, at least not nearly as much, but his chin does go pretty low and there's a little bit of a wonk going on there. So maybe adding the lip sync to it, it's just too much for it. So I'm gonna recreate that base video instead of the excited boy is speaking to the camera. I'm just gonna say the boy is speaking to the camera. And then I'm also running it with a negative prompt of warped, low quality, distortion. I would think those are a given. Why do I have to say things like that in a negative prompt? Like obviously I don't want that stuff ever. Here's what I got with the base video prompt of the boy is speaking to the camera. Come on, let's go ride the roller coaster. It's gonna be so much fun. Come on. Let's go ride the ro And right out of the gate there, the warping was worse than before. So how did it do when I regenerated the video with the base prompt of the boy is speaking to the camera and included the negative prompt warped low quality and distortion? Come on, let's go ride the roller coaster. It's gonna be so much fun. Yeah, not so good. And frankly, I'm sick of looking at this kid. 
I've created quite a few lip sync videos with Kling AI now. Sometimes they turn out pretty good on the first try. Sometimes a little adjustment to the prompt for the base video gets things lined right up. And other times it takes a whole lot of tries. Your mileage may vary. I have learned that if the lip sync video doesn't look right, go ahead and download it and look at it offline because sometimes it's just a playback issue within Kling. The video is okay, but for whatever reason, it's not playing on the Kling website well. Thanks for hanging out with me and come back and see me in another video.